So something interesting happened in the market today, okay? When Tesla announced that it is going to do a five for one split. And the best way to explain this is through an analogy. I love analogies, and this isn't gonna be perfect or anything, but it gets the idea across. So this is a $2 bill, okay? And it's real. And say, for example, we want to break it into quarters. So what we have is some quarters, and these quarters, are representing the split and this gives us nine quarters Brazilian stick it Elon <laughs> sorry but in all seriousness Tesla announced after the closing bell on Tuesday that they will be doing a stock split so Elon Musk and the board of directors got together and said hmm our stock price is too high let's go ahead and do a stock split so for every one share you own you will now have five shares. Me personally, I have eight shares in total. I will now have 40 shares. But the real question you should be asking is, what does this do to the stock price? How is this gonna affect the company positively? How is it gonna affect them negatively? What is a stock split? If you don't know that, I will answer that in this video as well. And when will this be taking place? So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So let's first talk about when this is gonna take place, okay? This is found on the investor relations page for Tesla. Now, you will be accredited for additional shares on August 28th for every share you own, and trading will begin on stock split adjusted basis on August 31st, 2020. So this pretty much means on August 28th, you're gonna receive four additional shares for every share that you own in Tesla, and that is on a Friday and trading will begin that following Monday. That's pretty much all it is. So by now you probably have a fairly good idea of what a stock split is, but you wanna know how this is gonna affect your investment. You may have noticed that after Tesla announced that they were splitting their shares into fives, that their stock price shot up. Why? Well, it's not because a bunch of people think that because it's splitting, it's gonna remain at $15 a share, so they're just gonna have a huge boost in wealth. That's not the reason why. There are pros and cons to splitting a stock, and I wanna go over those in a second, but first, you still have the same investment, okay? You have one share before, now you have five, you had a $1,500 stock before, and now you have around a $300 stock. Your investment remains the same. Now, the cons to splitting a stock is, it is more accessible for people with less money, for swing traders, for day traders. So there are gonna be people jumping in and out of Tesla a lot more often, which will cause the stock price to be more volatile, going up and down more regularly. The pros to having a split stock is that it's more accessible to people. It's kind of a two-edged sword. Because it's more accessible, you have more people funneling money into the stock, which can boost the price of the shares a lot more often and a lot higher. You can see this with a company like Apple. Apple has split its shares many, many times over the years and their price continues to climb over and over again. So honestly, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. As long as the company can maintain its growth, it's perfectly fine. Now, what are my thoughts about Tesla and their decision to split their shares? I honestly am a little skeptical about it because of how fast they grew. I'm worried that once they split, something could happen and all of a sudden they just drop like a rock. Now, I don't necessarily see that occurring, especially since they have become profitable four consecutive quarters. However, it's still something in the back of my mind. I still believe in the company really, really good company. I'm not at all doubtful that they can continue to grow. It's just a worry of mine. Even Elon Musk has mentioned in tweets and places like that, that he believes that the stock price is too high, that it is overvalued. Now me as an investor doesn't exactly agree with him because I have the vision of the company. I think that it's gonna do exceedingly well over the next couple of years. I think it's gonna grow even more and because I have that vision, I as an investor think that it is actually fairly valued. In fact, it could be worth more, but I don't think it should go up much further too quickly because then it could come tumbling down like a domino effect. But that's my personal opinion. The good part about the stock split is that it can increase the value of each individual share, increasing the overall market cap of the company. This is allowing them to take out more loans, borrow more money, and even sell shares to build capital to be able to funnel into the company to build gigafactories, to grow the business, and just basically bury the competition to where they can't even get out and compete. Kind of like how Apple has done with the smartphone. 
That's my personal opinion though, but it is a good valid point and I think that they should go ahead and build capital. Even if it dilutes my shares a little bit, it guarantees that the company can grow more in the future. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider slapping the crap out of that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps people like yourself find my videos here on YouTube. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button over to my right. It's an ugly mug, looks just like this one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.